mala lagaina eh south africa we have a problem we have a new pandemic and if we don't solve it or address it and and then we're gonna have a problem the biggest problem that we have today and then if we don't solve it we'll be in trouble forever our biggest problem currently in south africa it's these people the media the media it's misleading and it's biased and it favors certain individuals and tarnishes the images of certain individuals and if we don't solve these people we're gonna face challenges no one thing about the current media in south africa and the rest of the world is to be first but not to tell the truth that's the challenge and the only way for these people to actually tell the truth meaning they have to go deeper into it that for information they seek deep 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 down so they get that information and the problem with media is that if a media outlet or media brand says one information a biased conduct information it's not their responsibility to actually go seek information and say this media publication is lying has been lying to us and this information uh, it's this is the correct information that's a problem until we solve this uh, situation of the media we will have a problem in south africa because fact number one, the current publication wants to be first, but not to tell the truth. But, you know, every problem lies a solution. Now, somebody asked me, because I had this discussion before, somebody asked me, what's the solution? The solution to actually go deeper into the truth and tell the vision of the truth, because each and every time we get one side of the story, but not the other side of the story. We get one side of the story, but not the verified information of that story. That's a problem. Is to invest a lot or bring in more categories and more podcasts because podcasts go through every little bit of information and then have independent journalists to actually draw articles from those podcasts that happens on a daily basis. I mean. And our podcast can actually re release about 20 uh, bulletins in one podcast, in one hour. So, you, you see, we can get more information because one thing that puzzles me, right, that actually shakes my mind. Helen Ziller was in a podcast that says, if the DA and the ANC don't unite, the rent value will fall. Now, and if they unite and form a GNU, the rent will merge and increase. Now, in order to actually stabilize our economy, we need the rent to actually perform. Now, one individual or two political parties not merging and having a coalition or forming a GNU, the rent will fall. And it's mentioned by one individual. The rent is supposed to be inflicted by the value of the gold and international trade and expenditure of a country not by people merging or being in a coalition or in a genu a genu it's it's administration it's administration how we're gonna run the country they form an administration alliance and then that's how we're gonna run the country they don't impact or affect the financial industries and financial trade and everything has to do with finances no 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 uh -uh. and if so why is the media entertaining such information because it's biased and some of us people are afraid to say this media publication is biased and we must tell it only the few will say this media publication is biased news 24 is biased because of it's controlled by individual Look at the, the open border policy. The open border policy was for business trade, made sense. But the media attacked it because of EFF had made a lot of sense. They didn't give EFF a chance to actually explain the issue. They didn't give EFF a chance to say, explain this thing and go deeper. And each and every little thing that EFF said, they twisted around 
just to push a specific narrative. No problem. Look at what's actually happening. All the DA ministers are champions of those departments. But those departments were run by black people for a very long time. And all we got from the media was poor service delivery, poor service delivery, poor service delivery. Now, South Africans, we need to invest heavily so in podcasts. Because podcasts, that's the platforms where we can sit down and go deep into the truth, deep into the verified information podcasts. So in order to solve this issue, we need to go deeper.